Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be testing out new products from CoverGirl. You guys know whenever I hit up the drugstore and I see a new display, especially with foundation, that I have to grab it and try it out. This is new from CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir. This is a foundation that is infused with vitamin E, vitamin B, it has an SPF of 20. It is supposed to look very light and natural on the skin, which I am more of a full coverage kind of a girl, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go down but we're gonna see how it applies and how it wears throughout the day. I do also have their new Total Tease Mascara, which has the weirdest brush ever. I do also have the Cream Shadows from Katy Perry. There's a Katy Cat Pearl. Katy Cat, why, that is a tongue twister. There is the Katy Cat Pearl and then the Katy Cat Pearl. Tati, you're an idiot. These are both called Katy Cat Pearls. I have the shade KP01 and KP02. We also have some really intense lipstick. I have to appreciate the hollow packaging. Like that kind of just made me go, oh, like I just, oh my God, I love good hollow on anything. And I feel like Christine, Simply Nail Logical, she started that whole trend and now you're seeing it everywhere. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I think the woman deserves some commission on all the holographic madness everywhere because she's really turned us all into holosexuals. Let's just go ahead and admit it. Okay, so we have the Katy Perry CoverGirl lipsticks. I have a blue one. I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna see what happens. This is the shade Beautiful Kitty. I have Ready to Pounce and Apricot. So I have a bunch of fun things to test out. Let's scoot a little closer and get to applying them. And then I'm gonna take you with me throughout my day. Let's do it. So today we are going to first test out the Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I have the shade 725 and 742. That is one drawback. It is really tough to figure out what your shade is gonna be at the drugstore just by looking at the display, but you know, you pray for the best. This is totally unnecessary, but because I've been traveling so much, my skin is kind of wrecked right now and really dehydrated and just feeling kind of rough and gross. So I am using my Double Tensor Primer from Sicily that's very, very expensive, but it is a really, really good one. And then I'm gonna slap my CoverGirl makeup on top of it, you know, because why not? But it does actually say on the CoverGirl site to use a primer with this foundation, which is interesting because most foundations do not come with that instruction. The hair's out of control. We're just gonna ignore that. Just pretend it's not happening with me. I wanna show you guys, I always work from a glass palette. So I am, ooh, that's not open. Aha, just kidding. We're gonna just pump out a little bit to see which one is the best match. This is 725. And this is so, oh, oh, Lord, why do I do this to myself? I always imagine that I'm J-Lo. No, I'm not. I'm not that tan. I am not that glowing. <laughs> In my head, I think I'm way tanner. I don't know why I do this, you guys. I just, I don't understand. I think because by the time I have the rest of my makeup on and like my bronzer and contour, I'm like, yes. I've got tan skin, I gotta match that. But when we pull everything back, the base of me is <laughs> its pretty gosh darn fair, right? I actually think the two of these together is gonna be quite nice though. So that's what I'm gonna do. It says to dot this on the skin. I'm going to dot half my face and use a beauty blender. And then I'm gonna use my Artiste brush on the other side of my face. I would use my Clarisonic brush, but I didn't charge it. This is what it's doing. Work. It's not full coverage. It's nowhere near that. It is more a medium to light coverage and it has a very natural finish so far. We're gonna see if this oxidizes or if it kind of becomes more matte as it dries down. I am gonna take my Artiste brush, grab some product and do the same thing on the other side of my face. That just made it so much more full coverage. Your brushes and how you apply stuff, it matters, guys. It really does. Mm. But you know what? I'm digging the way that it blends with the Beauty Blender better. It just kind of is streaking a little bit too much with the Artiste brush. It's like moving the product around a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce the product in on the other side of my face and make everything really nice and even. 
not bad. I mean, it feels really comfortable. It's not sticky. It feels like it's blended really beautifully. It's not grabbing at any of my lines or around my nose. So I like it so far. What I'm gonna do now is put on a little brow, work on my eyes for a minute, and then I'm gonna go in and actually do another layer once this has really set and dried down. I'm going to take a shade from Revlon. This is the Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in 720 to keep with the drugstore theme. And I'm just going to spread this all over my lid up to my crease and a little bit extended outside of my eye. And then I am gonna go over the top with the Katy Perry products. If you have seen me on Snapchat kind of having a bit of a smokier eye, this is the base that I have been obsessed with. These cream shadows from Revlon are really good. I'm gonna take the Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Palette and I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner. I'm first gonna take the shade Dreamer and then I'm gonna go into Multitasker, but I just wanna add a little bit of depth, nothing major, just a little. And I'm just going for like a really natural look today. All right, round two, let's see how this stacks up. All right, well that's really nice. That layers beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and say that second layer made the foundation look much more full coverage and really pretty on the skin. It's not shiny, it's a very natural finish. It's not even a satin finish. It just looks like real skin and I'm digging it. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel tight or sticky, which are two of my things that I hate with foundation. It just feels really, really comfortable. So now I'm gonna finish up my face with powder and bronzer and all that good stuff, and then we will hop back to the eyes with some more CoverGirl new products. We are gonna go straight into these new cream shadows from CoverGirl. This is the Katie Cat Pearl. I have Tiger Rose and I have Tiger's Eye. I think I'm gonna go with Tiger's Eye just because I want something a little bit more golden and we're having sound issues. I do apologize. My neighbors are literally drilling up the cement in their backyard. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna get to it. We are almost to the point where I'm gonna go and do my day, so we're just finishing this. Mm, let me distract you with pretty eyeshadow. Ooh, ooh, the beauty. Hmm? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my fingertips and apply this on my eyelids. Oh, oh. That is a lot more beautiful than I thought it would be. That is really, really pretty and a lot more intense than I gave it credit for. I kind of was like, meh, these are not gonna be that great, but that is some serious pigmentation and if this locks into place, then I think this is gonna be a great drugstore find. Yes, I love this. All right, I actually wanna try the rose gold one. We're just gonna turn into like a really kind of crazy look here because I just wanna see how this stuff performs. So don't mind me, I'm actually gonna take the rose gold kind of version here and just pop this on the lower lash line. So I just wanna see the color. Hmm. All right, those are an A plus so far. By the way, the foundation is a little bit weird at this point. You know, it says it's infused with vitamin E and B and it has SPF 20 and it's really natural and it goes on so nice, but it did make my concealer for some reason not blend out as well as it normally does. It's the weirdest thing, like it dried down really beautifully, but then any cream products I put on top of it were really hard to blend. So I just have to throw that out there. I'm kind of on the fence with the foundation because I like the way it looks, but it was extra blending effort and it almost looks a little bit heavy right now. So it hasn't oxidized. We're going to give it a few hours wear to come up with the like final decision of if it's good or bad, but that's the current update. I am now going to take the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. You guys always ask me whenever I'm trying out a mascara to not line my upper lash line. So I'm going to scoot you in really uncomfortably close. So be prepared to just be really close to my eyeball and we're gonna see how this mascara applies and if it does a good job making my lashes full, long, and refined, as it says on the package. It looks like a caterpillar. <laughs> just put on the mascara, Tati. That's all anybody cares about. Okay, here we go. What the F is this brush? Oh, okay. Hello, lashes. You have been discovered. So I'm gonna take that little brush and kind of try to get on the inner corner, kind of fluff out those little, sometimes forgotten about, neglected lashes. Just stab myself in the eye. 
You guys, at first I was like, this brush sucks. How am I gonna do anything with this? But do we see there's nothing that's transferring? It's giving me length. It's giving me a decent amount of coverage on all my lashes. I'm not hating this. All right, so the last thing that I wanna do is pop on a little lip color before heading out the door. So I'm gonna first line my lips really quickly with a Huda Booty, 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 Booty. That is not what it is called. Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Bombshell. This kind of goes with everything, so that's why I'm using it. I'm gonna take the shade Apricot and just go on in. Ooh, girl, that is not what I thought it was going to be. That is very metallic, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of how CoverGirl lipsticks taste or smell. It's like very plasticky. I don't like it, but that's a really, really pretty color. And for me, what I would do is pop this on top of another, maybe a liquid lipstick or something a little more matte and then have this kind of be the center plumping type of an effect in the middle of the mouth, which I really love doing that. I love mixing a bunch of lip products together, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave things as they are. We are gonna try out this beautiful blue shade and we have a deeper coral um, called Ready to Pounce After Lunch, but I am so starving. It's like two o'clock and I have not eaten. No, of course, the one that I choose to put on is the only metallic that I have. All right, so we will play with these a little bit later in the afternoon, but let's go check out this makeup in regular lighting and see what it is all about. The mascara is actually really, really good. So there are a few things that I'm loving and let's see how they wear. So we are headed to go and get pokey. This is like our new favorite thing ever. And with all of my crazy allergies, I can actually eat it. So in other news, the makeup is looking really nice. Uh, lipstick is still on because I have not had anything to eat. Um, and the mascara, you guys, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And this, oh, is, the, I can't. this is the part of the video where I say, you look beautiful, baby. Oh, so cute. James is so romantic. <laughs> So we just devoured our poke bowls. Makeup's doing really, really well. Um, same old story here. I kind of like all the same things. The lipstick actually, surprisingly, you guys, it's still kind of on. And I just made a big mess of myself. So I love that. The mascara is not flaking whatsoever. The shadow is not creasing. It's only the foundation that's kind of making me go, mm, it's a little bit heavy. So we're gonna continue on and I will do another check-in shortly. All right, you guys, it is now about twilight hour. I have been organizing things in the beauty room. It still is like such a disaster in here. Oh my gosh. Mascara, shadow, lips are all good. Foundation, no, it's going in the bad bin. All right, you guys, it is starting to get dark out and I am already over my makeup to the point where there are certain foundations out there that by the end of the day, you feel like you are getting a breakout and I just feel like I wanna go and wash my face. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. By now, you know that I just don't like the foundation, which is such a bummer because initially I did love the way it applied, but with other products on top of it, it just got so heavy and creasy and crunchy. If you're someone that wants a very lightweight foundation and you don't use a lot of product on top, then I think you might give this a shot and be happy. But if you're someone that uses concealer and powder and bronzer and all that other good stuff, then you might not really love how this layers and it does oxidize quite a bit. The lipsticks, I really enjoy. I think they may have changed something in the formula and I like it. Like this one, Apricot, I'm totally gonna wear again. I did wanna try on the blue guy right here for you guys, Blutiful Kitty, cause why not? We're already here. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that they're bringing these kind of crazier, bold colors to the drugstore. This used to be something in high school, like if I wanted to buy a cool colored lipstick, I would have no option except for Hot Topic. Anybody else feel me on that? Like that's where I got my glitter and anything remotely wild. Um, and that is patchy and not that great. There is a blue lipstick from L'Oreal that is much better, the infallible paints. Those are gonna be more opaque. And I just feel like with a blue lipstick, you want it to be opaque. You don't want this to be sliding around and showing your actual lip color underneath. So this one to me is a no. Let's give this one a whirl really quick, ready to pounce. This actually looks like it's gonna be pretty. Oh, that was not metallic when I swatched it on my hand. 
I don't know, I'm feeling like that is really, really pretty, right? That's actually very beautiful. Let's take it up a notch and put apricot, apricot, excuse me, in the center. Look at that. Yes. Mmm. I feel extra sassy in this lip color. So there's the rundown of what I loved, what I didn't. I definitely will use the mascara again. The cream shadow is beautiful and bold without being too bold. It's kind of a just right situation that didn't crease. The lip color right here, I love this combo. The blue one, no, bye. You're out of here in the foundation. I don't think I will ever wear that again. So I hope you enjoyed me trying out brand new products from the drugstore, doing kind of a first impressions. And I definitely will do more of these. If you guys wanna see them, give this video a thumbs up. There are a ton of new launches on their way at the drugstore. And also, if you wanna learn how to save some cash, potentially get some free makeup, then check out Madness Monday. I'm gonna link that in the description box below. It's kind of me going out and about and teaching you guys how to coupon and maximize my deals at the drugstore. That's actually how I started my channel, so it's a total throwback. Anyway, I'm going to go and wash my face now because it's starting to actually kind of itch, which can't be good. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.